I haven't yet joined the Tehillim Explorer, so I just wanted to give them a big shout out. Go to Turiel's for leading it, and everybody else is joining. Uh, I need to join one day. Um, but uh, so, so far, all the days that I haven't done have all been, you know, fairly chaotic and that. But uh, and, and it's amazing, and it's uh, obviously great to, to our group as well that it's uh, that it's going on independently, um, which is which is amazing. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I, th I think you're going to get a lot more quality quality in terms of each tehillim out of that. Um, ours are more like uh, schmoozes and reflections and seeing how it comes together. Um, so I spend more time thinking about the parsha last night. Uh, till, till the wee hours of the morning to write my vote. Um, and I thought it was uh, also something relevant to, to share today. Um, we've got the image of the, of the, of the snare in this week's parasha, um, right of the burning bush. Now, when I was younger, I really, I don't know, I, didn't, just, like, I was like never able to just get it. You know, I just like, felt like, like, what's this burning bush story? It just seemed, it seemed weird. Um, as I got older, and I think it's something like, I guess you can you can appreciate more when you're older, like this this living contradiction of of pain and growth at the same time. Where you have this like a right, a snare boy, the, the 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 bush is burning, but it's not being consumed. Uh, a bush that's not consumed is still in like a state of growth. Um, and I think you know when you're younger, you need to see things more in black and white, and you need to uh, create a more simple way of of understanding reality. Um, and when you get old, you realize it's not the case. It's like, first of all, things are not so black and white. They're always gray. There's destruction and there's growth in the exact same place. And somehow they coexist. Somehow we coexist and, and we lost. And uh, I think, I think uh, you know, Judith, your point of dedicating this to the decisions of, of our leaders is like, it's like we're in the snare, right? We're in this, we're in this burning bush. There's so much pain, there's so much destruction, but there's such a conflict with, with needing to grow and carry on as well. And like, how, how did the two coexist? So, Baruch Hashem, people's children and spouses, and uh, you know, a lot of a lot of the chayalim are, are being able to to come home in, in a real way. Um, and and because there needs to be growth, right? They, life needs to carry on. Um, the economy needs to keep on growing. The you know, there's like. I think it was 60% down in in uh, like high tech investments. I saw these things come out yesterday, which is a huge thing. So as we need so much of the government to have the money to be able to spend to rebuild, I mean, I was in. Uh, I'm sure other people have seen worse things, but I was in this. Uh, we were in Kisufim last week, and uh, this chayal uh, took us around. It's already being half rebuilt, um, but to just see bullet holes through the doors and the rooms they destroyed with with grenades and and that that, it, that doesn't come close to what people are seeing in Kfar and Berry and and all those images that we've seen too much of like I just thought how is the state going to be able to pay for this um so um you know hopefully we've the government had, had had invested in too many ministries that weren't so relevant before so they can collapse them and find budget there and and like we have to have that faith uh, but 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 I feel like that's like there's like a lot of the snare being being burning and not and not being consumed, and that's Am Israel. So, so the first time that Hashem chooses to appear to uh, to uh, you know to to, to to speak to a uh, um, you know to speak to speak to, to Moshe in this like way of revelation, uh, it becomes the precursor for Har Sinai for the for the whole nation. Right, but but Moshe is the individual. He has Hashem reveal reveal himself to him um, from the burning bush. Moshe sees this like strange thing. He's also confounded. Like, how can there be burning and growth at the same time? How can there be flames and thorns and bush and all these things? So that's what that's the Mefarshim say. That's what pulls Moshe to see it. There's lots of things in Moshe's you know surrounding, but it's the contrast and the contradiction that makes Moshe stop, take a second, and like the, and the Sukim say, like he turns then to to, to see this to see this burning bush um and uh it's like i think it's um it's like an important image i think to validate to validate what we're going through and that we are in that space and it's so difficult to to also validate like i find like a lot of the tehillim and all the things that we share in the space it's like to say like the eternity of israel continues that's the same the first time that Hashem ever revealed himself to Moshe Rabbeinu and to you know a leader of the Jewish people in that way yes he revealed himself to Abraham and to Yitzhak and Yaakov in different ways but like this is the beginning of this of this national revelation um it's like it's in this contrast it's in this like weird difficult space of 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 burning and living of you know being destroyed and growing 
Um, so I think that, like, uh, in a way, it's painful to know that it's the same story that's been going on for thousands of years, just repeating itself. But there's also something validating and comforting to know, well, if that story has been continuing and we're just seeing another, um, another difficult, painful and horrible manifestation of it, then, then please God, we can, you know, get strength from that to know that, that, that we'll last through it as well. Um, that somehow this crazy nation that's constantly being, being burnt and, and, you know, you have these images of burning and bushes and thing, you know, you see these testimonies of these people in Nova Massacre all hiding in bushes, right? And then, and then people, you can't even think about that this actually happened, but being burnt, like, like uh, it's, I feel like terrible to be made is to even, you know, I think that we can say these things, but like, but but burning bushes, it's not too, it's too real. Um, so we should be able to, you know, feel that 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 pain and that uh, um, and that and that prior and be able to grow from it and uh, and create and and dive in from it. I think that's the that's the thing. I had like a weird uh, weird weird day on uh, Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. At a, at a the the editor in chief of Koran is Amafaked Machlaka. Got promoted in the war. He's like an amazing, amazing guy. His name's Avicham Agenta. You can listen to he, they they interviewed him. Uh, Michael's nephew Arya and his uh, partner in crime Alex uh, Druka interviewed um, Avishai. So this is this, I think the one before or after the uh, interview with uh, Elon Levy, um, and they interviewed him like from the field. So he's been stationed in southern Ephrat and he's like overseas a whole machlaka. Uh, I think it comes up to like three people below him and then and then 24 soldiers below them. Um, and from the first day he was, uh, you know, he, he was there. So I hadn't seen him in three months and he came to the, he, he said to me, he's coming to the Chitters Shiva house um, because Gila Chitters works directly under him on, on project. And Rav Daron also uh, like does a little bit of freelance stuff. So, um, so I met him there for Shachrit, and then we sat in the Shiva house, and then we went had a coffee together. Um, why am I telling you all this? Because we were sitting in this in the in the Chitters house. It was the birthday. It was supposed to be the twenty fourth birthday of of Yaron Chitters. Um, just crazy, crazy. Um, you know, so to be in that space and and hear that, Steve. You know, you you were a precursor to the funeral, right? When you said. Uh, what Rav Daron had said on that Friday night about how can I sing Zmirot louder in Gaza? Uh, that's what Yaron had said. Um, so, and then Rav Daron said, this, said that exact thing in his, in his uh, hesped. Um, so that was, that was like, you know, obviously this massive supernova, crazy, difficult, uh, you know, fire burning in our hearts. And then as I came home, there, I got this, as I'm arriving home, I got this message from Orit Edni. Right, or it's Adani, who is um, who's the mother of seconds, who's the mother of the soldier that we connected to in uh, in uh, he was killed on the seventh of October. Sayerik Maglan, who's a soldier in Salman's, and that's a story where my wife has been baking halot for them. We go to them every single Friday afternoon and we give them the halot. Um, so she messaged me to say her her mother-in-law just passed away. Now it's like crazy right so now the father is, is just come out of you know shloshim for his son and now he's in shiva he's in shiva for his mother and uh it was like it was like there was there was the day book ended by the chitzas in the morning and going to this funeral for this old lady she wasn't the picture of health but but her heart was broken um this is an old lady in a wheelchair um with the metapellet all the time she was they lived all in the same like compound so to speak like they lived at the bottom she lived at the bottom and they lived at the top and every friday afternoon my, my, when we go to my wife would like hold her hands and, and give her kisses and she'd get back these wet wet kisses and uh something that that only she can do not not i, I can't do those sort of things but she's got the clock to do that and you and, and this and this poor mother like with muffled speech would uh would you know like like weep about her grandson and uh, I think like that's that's this burning bush of Amisrael of 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 like that's a story nobody's going to hear, you know. We're sharing it here as as like friends in our in our space, but it's like often find it's the smallest smaller story that creates like that we we realize the 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 biggest impact or you know ripples as you say, Holly, of like these uh, of these difficult so these difficult things.
so that's uh you know going in this burning bush and all these different contrasts and contradictions and uh yes we want the memshala to you know to make the right decisions but but they're doing it under fire in a bush you know the, the some of them farshim say that why why was it a bush so it's a different reasons like very beautiful one was um so, so this midrash says one one part of it being a bush was that when you when you put your hand into a bush you're not in trouble you don't feel it but when you try to get yourself out that's when the bush that's when the thorns hit you and that's when you realize how much trouble you're in so in a sense it's like you know there's that momentum of getting involved in having to defend our, our, our people in our land and and the and and the craziness of, of that moment and the momentum and the and the sort of national adrenaline and now the question is how do we how do we start like moving out to be in like normal life again? How do we pull our hand out? I think, Judith, that's what you, you know, to that, that 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 thing. So that's the part of the bush. But the beautiful part of 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 uh, what the Mefarshim say, why did why did Hashem use the bush to appear to Moshe? Is just because a, a, a thorn bush is like the lowliest worst thing. Like you really want to insult someone, give them a thorn bush as a present. Like it's the worst, you know growing thing all of us when i give a camp south africa have these images of these devil thorns everywhere you know it's like it's like it grows but it's like what is it what kind of growth is it um and uh rashi says it straight away he says he says hashem specifically chose a thorn bush because a thorn bush is the lowliest bush and he wanted to show us that even in the lowliest part of creation he's there with us and it quotes the tilim of iman um of, of hashem is with us in our tzara. And it says that when, when Amishal is in Sarah, Hashem has, holds the Sarah right in front of him and he's there with us. And that's why he appears in a burning bush. Um, so there's like, with, within that picture of pain, there's like this message of Nechama and, and of Hashem uh, being with us. So we should be able to, uh, we should be able to be mitkaven to that and, uh, and, uh, and get koach. Um, we, we're doing with more kufir chet. I haven't left much time. Um, I hope that rambling was interesting and helpful somewhat. Um, I'm going to share the screen. See, now I can be completely sonic on Tehillim Explorers and do these Tehillim properly. It'll take you another 112 days to get you, but you'll do it well. Um, so, uh, so this is Tehillim Kofi Chet. I, I love the introductions to... Um, to, uh, from Rav Wan Rav, he says, uh, I, had no, I had no exit. I was rejected, scorned, and pities, and pity. There was no one to trust. I surprised myself. I trusted God. He surprised me. So I feel like it's like my mash the snare, right? I had no exit. You put your hand in, and it's hard to get out. You're surrounded by these thorns and, and by this difficulty. I was rejected, scorned, and pitied. Like I mentioned here, I hope this, uh, you know, it's publicly recorded. It should get out there how ashamed. All of us as South Africans are of what South Africa is doing to to Israel to add added uh, rubbish. It may be a platform when someone shows such darkness that there's an ability to show so much light. May that be the only thing that it serves. Um, but like I was rejected, scorned, and pitied. There was no one to trust. Right, stuck in a thorn bush. How are you going to get out? I surprised myself. Right, it was a bush. It was growing, even though it was a flame. I trusted God. He surprised me. Right? So we should like open ourselves up to saying. Yes, it's, a, it's on fire, but if you look deeper, you can see it's not being consumed and it's still growing. Um, and then with that trust, Hashem surprises us. Now, the interesting thing in this in this Tehillim, which, you know, as an Amar Aretz that I am, I'm constantly uh, like amazed, is then you're so used to them in Halal that you don't realize like it's actually all the same Tehillim. It's quite amazing. If there's such a contrast between Hodul Hashem Kitov calling out Hashem, Kilo Lam right? Like I have trust to trust in Him, because His kindness endures forever, keeps on burning, uh, but it's not consumed. Yom Arna Yisrael, Kilo Lam so that now like the response is, Yisrael should say it. And then even more deeper, Yom Arna Veitaron, Kilo Lam Chastor, then Yom Arna Yireh Hashem, Kilo Lam Chastor, that the Yireh Hashem. Remember a few Tehillim ago, we looked at uh, this relationship between Israel Beitaron and Yirah Hashem, and we said Yirah Hashem. Rashi says it's like the Gamak Toni Gamak Gamak Dolim. Um, that it's, uh, it, it's like includes everybody, even the, even the Amar Aretz who come in and call out to Hashem. They see it as Yirah Hashem. Now this is such a contrast for me. I was always like, okay, because I want to show us like the contrast between calling out constantly to trust Hashem and then 
I mean, our mates are that even in the most constrained spaces, we we, we find that he supports us, um, or like feel that constraints. So I mean, our mates are Karatia and Nani Bumerkavia from Anama Straits. I called upon Hashem, he asked me of great enlargement. Uh, mates are we know is the root of Mitzrayim, and Shmot is the beginning of uh, of of Mitzrayim, not as Goshen at the end of Bereshit, but as Mitzrayim as the Meitzarim, as, as the boundaries. And so it's from that place of the constraints and the thorns and being stuck in a bush that we call out to Hashem. He answered with great enlargement, in like an absolute expansiveness. Um, I think we're going to just uh, carry on here, but I just wanted to pick up on, on, that, uh, on that contrast of like this confident trust in the beginning. And it's the exact same peric of David Amelech, it's the exact same stream of thought as Minameta Karatia and Anani Bamerchavia, and uh, then all the calling out of, of trusting Hashem all the way through of Zeashar Lashem Tadikim Yavovo, right? Like we know that that the infamy of this Pasuk was the goal that the Nazis had to put that on, uh, um, is it in Auschwitz or, you know, in Auschwitz in the, in the labor camp, um, right? Where they say all the Tadikim, it's not, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's, I feel like it's Treblinka. Or my uh, Treblinka, I think, where there's the gate of, uh, of uh, yeah, Zashar Lashem. I think it's in Treblinka, where they put up this gate where they march people through out of the train through this gate that says, This is the gate of Hashem, all the righteous will pass through it in this disgusting, cynical, uh, insulting way. Um, and through history, these Psukim have been different things for us in different ways, but ultimately. And now we're out, we're singing and, and, and calling out responsively when we, or when we say these psukim, each one twice, um, all the way through to Hashem or it's like all part of the same stream. When they, when they put the Siddur together and they structured it, you know, piece by piece, I feel like we saw these parts as, two, as, as different, right? Of like feeling the pain, feeling the hope, feeling the pain, feeling the hope feeling the flames and the thorns, but feeling the growth at the same time. So this is like a real mizmor of like feeling these contrasts. And ultimately with the hope of Hodul Hashem Kitov, we end how we started, Kilo Lam Chastol. We're going to continue to thank Hashem and, and seek out, right, and look beyond the flames to see the growth of the bush all the time. All depends on our perspective in so many ways. Kilo Lam Chastol, because his kindness endures forever. So let's say that to heal him, let's just do the name, say that to heal him together. And then um, we'll do the tefillot. And uh, Judith, because of your bakasha, we'll do Avinu Shabbat as well. Um, okay, so let's say the Tehillim together, 118. Okay, here we go. Feel free to unmute. Okay. We do names first or after? Yes, yes, yes. Names. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me on track. Okay, go for it. Sandy, your, your grandson? That's just, yeah. You're on mute. Sorry, there was mute. There was no What's your name, please? Okay, Daniel Ben Riva Zisel. Susan. Do I still say it if he's if he's not there? Say it, say it, say it. Okay, speak L Ben Dvora Zisel. Okay, we can. It'll be the last time, right? It's good. You exactly. should, uh, I think, I, I would say we can still say it for as long as we want to say it. I feel like yeah. what these soldiers have been through, what these families have been through, they need refuata nefesh as much as they need refuata guf. So let's dive exactly. for that. Exactly. He's yeah, actually yeah. in Netanya now for three days doing what they call be loading, like just so. Wow. wow. I, I so you need to feel out that that should happen, that that should happen in the best way possible. Yeah. Amen. Um, yeah. uh, uh, Judith? Um. Moshe Oren ben Yudit, Oriel Jonathan ben Itzria, Gabriel ben Shoshana, Eitan Eris ben Shoshana, Jonathan Abraham ben Shoshana, Rui Arya ben Shoshana, Merab Chen ben Yudit, Rav Baruch ben Henya, and Yisha Yosef ben Yudit Liba. Amen, amen. Holly? Uh, Ariel is also out right now, waiting oh, to see when he go back. But I will include his name. Ariel Eitan ben Henya Shendel. Benjamin Yosef, Ben Henya Shendel, Yoav Nachum Akoe, Ben Svea Bela, and Fivel Dov, Ben Hedi Leah. Amen, amen. Let me just unpin you. Let's see. Eidelmans? Yosef Dov, Ben Renat Rochel. Okay. Um, Anne? Um, yeah, Eliashim is also in uh, Natanya. 
and okay. uh, then maybe go in and out, but you know, different things. So Elia Shiv Shlomo Ben Rachel Tessia Rosa. Thank you. Michael. Can you unmute, Michael? Sorry. Uh, Eyal Aaron Ben Zahava, Sarah Kamel Brachabat Zahava. Amen. Steve, anybody got? Ayesha uh, Yaakov Ben Yehudit Laya. Amen. Okay. Uh, Brian, down for Dovi O. Okay. Um, I'm going to say uh, my name's over here. Aitan Aitan Ben Razia Malka, Gil Ben Razia Malka, Ariel Ben Razia Malka, Matam Menachem Ben Dani, Yehud Shlom Ben Adasa, Aaron Shlom Ben Chaya, Matan Lefran Ben Yael Aviva, Aviel Tzur Ben Yudit, and I actually met someone in the in the tent, um, and he told me his son is from uh, Gabriel Shlomo Ben uh, Ben. Surna, I think his name is. Yeah, Kavash told me Surna. Okay. The Seder. Then it's the Tfilot. Oh, now I'll have a bit of Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. Tehillim first. Tehillim. Tehillim, Tehillim. Okay, let's do it quickly because I'm running late. Okay, I'm just going to fly through it and you can all say it. One, two, three. Oh, oops. Modern Adonai of your lamp has store, Yamana Shaklam was store, Yamana Vetra Glam was store, Yamana Yerna Glam was store, Minamet Sakarati and Ali Kravia, and Ali Goyra, Maya Silia Dama, and Ali Bos Ravani Rebusona, Toblak Sopa the Nabi for Badam, Toblak Sopa the Nabi of the Divim, Togrim Sabuni Shaman and Kamilam, Sabuni comes with the Shabbat and Kamilam, Sabuni Kid Varim da Huka Eshkotim, Eshkotim, the fire of thorns, the fire of thorns in the parish of the snake, the Shaman and Kamilam. and <laughs> And how crazy is that? Ka'ish kotzim, a fire of thorns. That's why I feel like Hashem is, you know, the more we do good, the more He's like, okay, you open up a highway of good, I'll give you channels of light to tell you I'm here with you. You might not keep it so right, just like the thing. So please God, that, that light should uh, cover our soldiers, our chaylim, and our leaders. Um, okay. I'll flash with the Mishabar, Sam Mishabar, have a ten of Ramitak, the Akuli Brek, and Halet Wagner Shell, and Sheko Hotta Bitahon, Nom Dimon Shmar, Senevare, Lohenum, Gula, Bond, Abi Maritrim, Umina Yamagado, the Barava, the Homash, Makom Shem, Yabba Shabbat, Yam, Eterna, the Night of Ena, Kimel, and the Gifin with Nemak, the Spokish Mobile, Tihalen, because Shabbat to come, Mikon, the Gamahala, Ishlak, perhaps the Havama say a day, and the best net of the Nature of the Shabbat, the Hon, the Kuyama Makatoki, and the Lehim, and Lehim, 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 Mishabar <laughs> Okay.
Thanks, everybody, and uh, good to be back with everybody. Thanks for, thanks for, hope the monologue is helpful. We're all going through lots of different stories and different things, but hopefully it's helpful just to put like a bit of a narrative, see it through the lens of the parsha. Hashem then reveals it to us because I don't overly prepare, so Hashem reveals it to us uh, dynamically through the TLM. And um, please got all our efforts and all our being together. I've always spoken about the value of Imoan and uh, and I never knew it until now that this is the hidden message from Furash and Rashi um, of the of the of the snare. So we should uh, know Hashem Batara, but we should know him Basimcha. Please God soon for everybody. Amen. 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 Thank you. Liron, I just wanted to ask yes, uh, yes, that uh, the Hashem is in charge of our leaders. In other words, they are in charge of a lot of people and can hurt yeah, a lot of yeah. people. So Hashem, when their decisions are not just from the politicians, Hashem is in charge of what their decisions are. Amen, amen. There's a, a pasuk on that. Yeah, there's there's Mufresh pasuk on the hearts of the the hearts of the leaders and the kings are in are in Hashem's hands. So we have that faith as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna run. Thanks everybody. Have a beautiful Thank day. You. Have a beautiful Shabbat. Thank you. Enjoy being with your beloveds. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.